Hello and welcome to our Node 4 M4 Engage, the Journey to a Hybrid Workplace Sessions. These Journey to a Hybrid Workplace Sessions will guide you through some of the best practice approaches to hybrid working, with top considerations to think about along with the best tools to improve collaboration and business productivity. I'm Jamie Gunn, the Node 4 Connectivity Product Manager. I've sold connectivity for over 20 years now and use that as part of my job. In this session, we will look at access, connecting to the internet, or MPLS, the best practices for working from home. Around 2007, I started a field-based role that required me to travel around our beautiful Isle to see clients, occasionally visiting company offices, but largely working from home. In 2020, my years of experience of working from home, or working from home, have allowed me to adapt quickly to our national lockdowns. But for the traditional office space staff, they have had to learn quickly. My experience allows me to work from home effectively. I know what is expected of me, what I need to do to get the most out of my day, how to avoid work intruding on my personal life and, after some previous challenges, investing and understanding the technology required that improves my working from home experience. At the end of March 2020, office workers had to adapt quickly. They had to create their office environments at home. First challenges were complex enough. Where at home can I work from? Where will I be least distracted? Where will I be motivated to work from? Will I be motivated? What is the structure of my working day? How do I manage my own well-being? My tips on this side are keep it simple. A short work before or after work really allows you to either start your day or move that day away from you. This can act as your journey to and from work. Also create the right ambience. A little Springsteen on the turntable, a nicely scented candle and an endless supply of tea are important. But the technology around us at home will play a major role in our experience. Problematic technology can have a real impact on our mood and affect how we perceive business services and the benefits of company-wide applications. A slow, meandering egg timer on your screen whilst accessing key company systems can leave you with questions about your company's IT infrastructure, its investment in tech, leaving you time to ponder your own existence. Underperforming technology can also affect perceptions to our colleagues and clients. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can see you. Your lips are moving. Are they on mute? No, you're frozen. We all have that one colleague who, whilst working from home, sounds like they are broadcasting from a fish tank. We live in a 4K world. Technology is there to be embraced, celebrated. It has helped us to see our loved ones at Christmas, albeit via a screen. It has also allowed us to feel some normality in during Christmas work parties from the comfort of our own homes, with complimentary food hampers. Coffee mornings and team quizzes have been in abundance and may no longer continue. Technology has allowed us a deeper insight into the lives of our colleagues, their worlds, their homes, their hobbies, their families, their pets. The stories behind that important piece of art behind them on the wall. My favourite question during this period has always been, how are you doing? We all need a little human touch, even through Wi-Fi. From home broadband, through to the efficiency of your laptop, to that troublesome Wi-Fi spot in your home. Let's take a look at some considerations, actions and tips you can take to ensure you are doing all you can with your technology to help improve your working from home experience. Find your optimal router location. The quality of the Wi-Fi signal within our home is largely affected by the structure of your home. Walls, doors, beams and even cupboards all have the potential to block and weaken your Wi-Fi signal. Try repositioning your router around your home where possible, avoiding any major structural obstructions. This may be easier said than done, but with your router at its most optimal location in your home, users accessing it will hopefully be able to receive an unobstructed, clear path to that all-important Wi-Fi signal. A good tip is to understand the typical Wi-Fi range a router can attain. Dual band Wi-Fi router signals can reach up to a distance of 150 feet indoors and up to 350 feet outdoors. Hardwire your connection. You can plug your laptop or desktop directly into the Ethernet port of your router. I am sure some of you will remember there was a time before Wi-Fi. A wired Ethernet connection eliminates the need for Wi-Fi. The wired connection will provide a more stable, faster and unobstructed physical connection to your router, providing you with a more reliable connection. There could be a cosmetic price to pay though. 
Do you want to run additional cables in your home? When we are so used to less visual services such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. A good tip is to investigate moving or installing a new phone line or Ethernet port in your home office. This will allow you to connect directly to your internet connection within the same room in which you work. Consider power line adapters. We all have electricity at home and those electrical circuits can be used to pass through our data traffic. By plugging power line adapters directly in your main sockets via your router and using your existing electrical wiring, you are able to extend your internet connection around your home without the need for any additional cabling. This flexible service can extend your network across your home, help support with hybrid Wi-Fi networks and is simple and easy to set up. A tip to bear in mind though is data signal strength over electrical circuits can be impacted by both circuit length and electrical interferences. Spend some time router housekeeping. Who currently has access to your router? Which devices are currently connected to your router? How secure is your router? When did you last reboot your router? Like computers, routers benefit from a regular reboot. Upon restarting your router, it will look for the most reliable and less populated channels which can help improve your access. We will look at bands and channels in my next slide. A reboot of your router can help clear network problems and provide optimal use upon restart, helping stabilise your connection. Resetting your router Wi-Fi password is also highly recommended. This would help remove any devices or users, or users accessing your router and internet service that either should not have permission or may not need to be connected. A recent study suggested 82% of home routers still use their default username and password. The default username and passwords are standard and easily available across most manufacturers. This is a large security risk. Understand your Wi-Fi band and change the channel. Wi-Fi signals from your router utilize a spectrum of bands and channels which can affect the quality of your Wi-Fi service. There are two bands. Most modern routers run with the two band service known as dual band. One band is 2.4 gigahertz, which offers users a longer range of transmission but lower data speeds than the other band, 5 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz offers the user a lesser range of transmission but can improve signals greatly. Within each Wi-Fi, there are also a number of channels, 13 channels across the 2.4 GHz band and 9 channels across the 5 GHz band. Rebooting your router will allow your router to find new channels upon restarting. A good tip is to reconfigure your router to try alternative bands and channels. This can help you find a more stable band or a channel with less congestion over the Wi-Fi spectrum. Update your router. All routers and access points have firmware running your hardware and software allowing it to function. Ensuring your firmware is updated ensures you have the latest release to run your hardware effectively. Updating software could give you added benefits of the latest manufacturer's security patches, new features and improved interfaces. Other benefits of a recently flashed firmware could resolve some service issues that a router reboot cannot seem to resolve. A good tip is that it is worth signing up to your manufacturer's update service. This keeps you aware of any software or hardware updates and possibly any new security threats. Upgrade your router. Router technology continues to improve with hardware modifications and software updates all help increase performance and user experience. Most modern routers offer dual band services of 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz along with multi-directional antennas sending your Wi-Fi signal all across your home in various directions. Software improvements can also offer greater functionality with improved interfaces to manage your router and its connection along with improving hardware performance. A good tip is to examine your router. Does it have dual band technology? How many antennas does it have? Are the antennas facing in different directions? Is it time to replace your router?
Investigate Wi-Fi extenders or repeaters. Our homes are all different shapes and sizes, offering many variables when it comes to Wi-Fi performance across your home. Adding additional Wi-Fi access points into your home, across your home, such as boosters, extenders and repeaters, can all help improve Wi-Fi. These devices have the ability to pick up your Wi-Fi connection and even boost, extend, repeat or bounce your signal around your home. The use of multiple access points are possible to help you with your Wi-Fi signal if you live in a large or older building. These devices can either be plugged directly into power sockets or run on power over Ethernet points, allowing a quick, simple and cosmetically pleasing setup. A good tip is a troublesome Wi-Fi spot at home may benefit from a well-positioned access device to help bounce or boost a Wi-Fi signal to that location. Prioritise your traffic. The average number of devices connect to a home Wi-Fi router is 11. Devices such as work laptops, tablets, games consoles, mobile phones and televisions. Dependent on their usage, these devices can all put a high demand on your router and internet bandwidth. Most modern routers will allow users to prioritise traffic via quality of service, offering you the option to force business grade traffic above other less critical traffic. This means you can prioritise business critical applications when working from home over typical streaming services, social media or online gaming. A good tip is to understand streaming services and the speeds they require. Streaming, chat applications and online gaming are the most bandwidth hungry products typically used in homes. HD streaming requires 5 megabits to run effectively. A 4K streaming service requires a minimum of 25 megabits to run efficiently. Whereas a voice call without video will only require a stream of around 100 kilobits per second. Remember, timing is key. The performance of our broadband services can be affected by the time of day. The capacity of your connection does not decrease, but on contended or shared broadband services, more users in your local area will create more traffic congestion. This can also be seen to happen at weekends when more users are at home accessing bandwidth hungry applications. In a pre-COVID world, studies showed a steady increase of internet traffic during the day, starting to rise from around 4pm with a peak at 9pm. Streaming services were largely behind this trend. But from March 2020, with people working from home and schools closed, ISPs reported a 112% increase of internet usage during these working hours. A good tip is to keep a record of any incidents of poor connectivity that affect your working day. Do this over a week or two and you might start to notice some trends. Ensure computer efficiency. Our computers are in constant use during a business day, accessing multiple local or cloud-based services and applications. Computer speeds can be compromised with open software and applications, draining your computer of vital system resource. Closing your computer down at the end of each working day allows you to open a clean, ready-to-work laptop for an optimal start to your working day. A shutdown of your computer can also help flush your RAM, clear temporary files and offer you the option to complete operating system upgrades. How many times have you turned your laptop on in the morning, ready for a 9 o'clock conference call and been presented with 20 minutes worth of updates? making you late. A good tip is updating your operating system, security software and applications with latest patches. This will ensure you have the highest level of security and improved performance of your computer and its software. Understand your connectivity limits. The amount of bandwidth advertised by your broadband service provider may be best case scenario, which could mean slower speeds than expected. Traditional home broadband services offer asymmetric bandwidth, meaning you have less upstream bandwidth than you do downstream. This can affect services heavily reliant on equal bandwidth in both directions. Services such as voice and video applications 
Broadband services can also be contended, meaning you share your bandwidth at cabinet level with other users in your area. This will have an impact on your speed at varying times of the day, due to more or less users being online. A good tip is a good tip. Uh, start, I'm going to record that tip bit again. A good tip to consider is voice uses less bandwidth than video, so turning off your video on a conference call may improve the quality of your audio. Of course, we still all want to see you though. Upgrade your connection. As we move to a full fibre Britain, it is important to ensure you have the latest, fastest and most cost effective broadband connection available to you within your local area. Does your current provider offer an upgrade to a full fibre service? Are you on an unlimited or capped data usage product? Do they offer any prioritised bandwidth services? And can they provide you with a business grade service? A good tip is to download or use online a web browser that enables you to test the speed of your broadband. This test will show you the kind of download and upload speeds that your connection is receiving on a regular basis. Once you have this information, it will give you an average of what kind of speeds your broadband service is achieving. I hope that gives you some ideas around what you can do with technology to improve your working from home experience. Working from home is here to stay. How can Node 4 help you? We are the always on generation. This line has now become more important in allowing us to transfer our working day from the office to our homes. Node 4 offer a wide range of connectivity options from business grade broadband such as FTTC to high end with guaranteed upload speeds, download speeds, uncontended, SLA driven, Ethernet services across our MPLS network. With a range of managed routers, security products and network expertise, Node 4 are able to provide you with a flexible approach to home working. I hope that was helpful for you and thank you all for your time.